Hi, I'm Bob Kaiser, Vice President with Global Markets Intelligence at S&P Capital IQ. Thanks for previewing this week's edition of the Lookout Report. Until recently, investors appeared to be quite comfortable looking past the recent string of weaker than expected U.S. economic data and declining first quarter S&P 500 earnings expectations. Although 80% of the cumulative decline in crude oil prices since mid-year 2014 actually occurred before the start of 2015, the consequences of depressed energy prices continued to reverberate through, through the entire stock market in terms of expected first quarter 2015 corporate earnings. The sharp 60% decline in spot crude oil prices since mid-year 2014 is weighing enormously on the energy sector where first quarter earnings are expected to decline by 63% but energy is clear, clearly not alone. In fact, five S&P 500 sectors are now expected to report negative first quarter earnings growth as opposed to just two at the end of 2014. Excluding the energy sector, calendar year S&P 500 earnings are currently expected to grow by 7.6% down from 11.1% at the end of last year. Sectors that are believed to be fairly insulated from crude oil weakness and U.S. dollar strength, such as consumer discretionary and financials, have seen just over 5% reduction in anticipated 2015 earnings since the end of 2014, at least partially due to the recent string of significantly weaker than expected U.S. economic data. Consumer discretionary and financial sector earnings, nonetheless, are still expected to grow by 12% and 10% respectively this year. We believe that in order for these cyclical sectors to lead the stock market higher in 2015, the economy as a whole needs to emerge strongly from the first quarter soft patch, predominantly by sustaining the strength observed in U.S. non-firm payroll formation since mid-2014. This scenario would be similar to what occurred a year ago when the U.S. economy emerged strongly from the so-called polar vortex that dropped GDP growth to negative 2% and first quarter 2014 S&P 500 earnings growth to just 3.3%, which was the weakest growth rate seen in about two years. However, should the U.S. job creation engine unexpectedly begin to misfire on a sustained basis, there would be significant reasons for heightened skepticism regarding a stock market that currently anticipates half of its sectors to report negative earnings growth in the opening quarter of 2015. For further thoughts on this topic, plus additional cross-asset class insights from McGraw-Hill Financial Thought Leaders, see this week's Lookout Report titled, Investors Are Becoming Less Comfortable Looking Past Soft Economic Data and Declining Earnings Expectations. Until next time, I'm Bob Kaiser with S&P Capital IQ.